fair enough. Let, let, let him hear how petty you sound. I am being petty. Why are you being petty, Ronald? I don't know. Let us remember on this day, Chris beat you twice in a row and checked your matches. Recording? Yeah, yeah, it's recording. And he see, see, I don't do that to y'all. Don't be doing that to me. Alright, we won't do that. It's anymore. quite fair. We work. Alright, we, 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 we cut. We cut. We keep a chess message private. Chess message It should be private. separate. It should be separate. That's Vino being petty because he wants mm. to just sit there and dog me. Alright, then we'll, we'll, we'll record for real now. Okay, uh, episode what? 104? 104? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 104. Yeah, Episode yeah. 104. 104? Yeah. Uh, you see, you, you, you killed the enthusiasm. You so, like, you want to start over? Nah, nah, let's roll with it. Yeah, it might as well. Okay. Let's see if we can just show back on the rails. Let's see if our, let's see if our Philadelphia Brotherhood is strong enough. Right. All right, this episode is going to be about living versus existing. Existing, which most people, it would seem that most people just exist. Mm-hmm. Well, what's you? the difference, Chris? It All sounds right. like the way we're just uh, saying two, two of the same words. All right, Chris. Some it does. For some it is a synonym, right? But for us, it isn't. What's your definition of someone who's just existing, as opposed to the other? Mm. Existing means that, like, the it reminds me of the famous quote by Bob Marley. Oh. Some people feel the rain. Steer it up. Some people just get wet. So if you're feeling the rain, again, you're living. If you're just getting wet, you're just existing. To the layman, you're saying the same thing. Yeah. Like, like you're not. But see, that's the thing. Appreciating the moment. See, if yeah. If you're, if see, you're existing, but you, you just okay. Dumb it down even more for the, for the basics of people. Like you're, you're speaking great analogies and shit. Existing like, means the, you're just living in that hamster wheel. Existing you means you're going from box to box. You wake up in the morning in your box. You go to the work. You go to either school in a box or you go to work in a box, and then you leave and go a bunch of other boxes and to go back to your first box and complain about how much you hit all your other boxes. There you go. That's like the basic dumbed down version. The of hamster what, what wheel of, of the of the regular or rat race, right? The yeah, rat race. Yeah, the rat race. Ham- yeah, rat you race. Call it. Yeah, it's just like running, running, die. I want to add more animals to my already awesome, awesome analogy. Sorry. Awesome, awesome. Awesome analogy. Awesome, awesome, awesome analogy. That's what I was basically talking about, Chris. Basic dumbed down. Nah, that's, yeah. That's so, sometimes it is. It's very hard for me sometimes. I feel, to, I, I feel to like I feel like this coldness is is leaking over from the from the chest. I thought we agreed to keep our I thought we agreed to keep our chest life private. I thought no, I'm saying for the average Joe like me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I was talking so, about. So okay, so that's what existing is. Chris, what would you live? What would your definition of living be? And then we can go around on that. You, you, Wait, what did we say existing was? Is you know? Oh, the the rat the hamster wheel the hamster wheel. You just like just that same shit every day. So living is is like what. Uh, they say smelling the flowers, looking up at the sky, <laughs> you know, like enjoying the little things, enjoying the finding little things. the deeper meanings of, 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 of behind all the regular things, right? Yeah, always looking for this for the, for the, for the hidden message, right? Yeah, or even just appreciating just like just like when you see a butterfly or some shit or being fucking, able to see a motherfucking sunset and not having to take a picture or tell yeah. people you saw a sunset, you know, you you enjoy the moment, you know what I'm saying? You you you. As a as a wise being able to 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 not have to use the phone. You know, it's called the present. Why? Why? Because it's a gift, and you you know, if you're not if you're not if you're not enjoying the gift you're being given the present, well, then you're you're just existing. You're not living. You know what I'm saying? Most of us just sit there and worry about the future or the past, and completely ignore what's going on right in front of us. You know what I'm saying? So many of us are trained to do that because how we just. Have become so accustomed to be staring at shit all day. Either we're staring at a screen, a phone, television, whatnot. You know, so we our attention span is ass. You know, what it's I'm like saying? we all have ADD. Yeah, we've all we've all contracted some sort of ADHD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Autism, dyslexia. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just how we've been conditioned. But yeah, living to me would would mean that yeah that you like that you take the time out to. To find to find the beauty in, in, in the daily routine, like you know, every every morning getting up and brushing your teeth and, and having to wash your ass and, and, and you know, having to get your get, get your hair ready and shaved, like instead of just saying, oh, I, I, did, I hate doing this routine, it's so boring. I wish it finding the 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 life in that, you know. Think about okay, so this routine is, is what keeps me going. This routine is what makes the person ready to go. You know what I'm saying? I need to appreciate that more. 
And you know the fact that I can even have that routine, you know, that like, some people are blind and don't like, can't even have a routine like that. Like put it like this: the fact that your car starts every morning, mm. hey, that day that doesn't want to start, you really start appreciating those yeah. days that did start. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like you can breathe through your nose, yeah. like you're on an alley. You know, it's like a lot of people complain. Oh, I hate going to work. It's and that. Well, don't. don't would you rather be hurt then or be sick? No, that would suck because or then jobless. You, you would just sit there and wish I could go back to my job. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Fine. You need to learn to appreciate. The the, the 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 small the like find the beauty find the living find the god in all these small moments in daily routine because that's that's what living is about you know when you're doing that shit when you when you when you're doing your routine and get yourself ready and getting out there and getting it you know what i'm saying that's that's you you know jump throwing yourself out there you know what i'm saying jump into the fray you know what i'm saying you're playing a, a, a bigger part yeah we, we take advantage we, we we take we, we take it for granted that, that we can do that you know realizing what I'm that you have also, another part of living is, is is realizing that you have the ability to make people smile yeah. and to make people uh, uh, like comfort people and not be uh, not have to use, like I, I know there's a lot of people out there who use people for malice, which is crazy mm -hmm. to me. But um, I think living is also like extending friendship and being honest and being truthful and and, and actually. Socializing for real. Real shit, yeah. Because if you if you got a group of friends that just babies each other, and they never talk about real shit. They just they just talk about the dumb shit they do, and they don't even tell each other. Yo, man, that's well, why you do that shit for. You know, like, hey, don't hang around those kind of people, bro. You need people who, who are gonna keep you in check, keep you in line. You know what I'm saying? Keep you sharp. You know those I'm are saying? like social media friends. The ones that are just, right? they're you know just know liking your outfit. Yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah. Real shit, real shit. There's no depth, and those people are going through their own Fuck shit. Fuck social media. I'm dope in real life. Yeah. You don't need the media part. Yeah. Um, I don't even like to be social. <laughs> I think also trying new shit, like not just always doing the same thing. Like I do get like uh Ooh, ooh, I heard a anxiety. phrase yesterday. I heard a phrase. The comfort zone is nice, but nothing ever grows there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that's that. True. Like, like that. It's pretty good, right? <laughs> like I don't go to a lot of new places to eat, but um It's all good, man. Once you get your swagger fully back intact. You know what I'm saying? Once you hit that thousand like, rating, like, on like I got, account. I got a list. I got like one taco shop, one pizza place, a burger place. So you just kind of limit yourself when you do that, bro. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll try something new sometime. Don't worry, bro. Well, I mean, thanks to you, I've tried the the what was it, the Vietnamese sandwiches. Bon Mi. Shout yeah. out to Bon Mi's and all the Vietnamese food. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You know anything else you want to say about Libra's existing? You know. How? Uh, let me let me ask you this: As a person who finds themselves realizing, man, I'm just find purpose. I'm just existing. I want to start living. What would you tell this person to change or start or stop doing? Mm, we, well you, you gotta feel like you ha you gotta find your purpose. I think. Yeah. Which is interesting because I was watching Eternals, which is that that movie with Sam Hayek and Angelina Jolie, the Marvel movie, mm -hmm. and it's like it goes through all of history and it's like Icarus and Athena. Mm -hmm. The guys to win. So it's pretty cool the way they, they mix it with the history and shit. I see, I see. Um, but the, the what they were talking about because they find out they were just created as as like just puppets and they were like, What the fuck? Like their creator made them and then these other things just to make humanity make enough energy so that the planet can birth a a, a, a thing, a celestial. So that everybody's gonna die and shit. <laughs> But like so, like a tsunami. Yeah, so yeah, like it was volcanoes and shit. It, it was, exploded. It was crazy, bro. Yeah, shit. it was. That's like whoa. And then when you told me that, I was like, whoa. Some, some uh, Atlantis two point on the way. Yeah, I don't know, but it was pretty good. I was, I was surprised at how good it was. I thought it was gonna be like whack as fuck, but it was. Right. Like, um, you know, uh, but but anyway, they had to find their purpose, and so like even if you feel like uh, like you got you have to find a reason. And a lot of times, the best reason is is for other people. Like, mm -hmm. so you yeah. gotta love also. Yeah, you, you have to learn to stop living a life of service to self and learn to live to serve others. You know what right, I'm but not to your detriment. But <laughs> just exactly, you know, there's there's the balance in everything. There's right. a balance between work, the balance between play. There's a balance between you know, hey, handling, handling, taking care of yourself, and and then and also being there for your people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, I, 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 I go ahead, Ramon. Go ahead. I think a big part too of, of, of living is you need to you, you, you need to, to, to 
to establish a relationship with the man upstairs. You know what I'm saying? You, you, yeah, you gotta have faith. You need, you know, that, I think you need faith. That's what that you know. You need something to keep you on the right path. You know, and yes, also, you know, yes, to want to be a man or a woman of God. You know what I'm saying? To want to be quote unquote, you know, like like you know, like the God of War here we put it, warriors light. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to be that, you know what I'm saying. The first thing you have to do is yes, you know, find, you know. You know, establish a relationship with God. It's like the only way to find purpose. And try to attain. You know, what what we try to live under God's laws, not yeah. man's laws, God's laws. You know I think I think we enjoy the way like children need rules and structure at school. I think we need that. Like we would be oh, if yeah, everything was yeah. chaotic. We, we need structure, like, but that's the problem. We 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 elect or we allow stupid people to be elected. People that don't that don't care about the people. Well, yeah, there's so, people with malice intent. Yeah, the, the system has been hijacked. And obviously yeah. that's, that's what that's what evil is always going to do. Evil is always going to take everything that good pops out and hijack it and twist it right away. You know what I'm saying? This is why, yes, it needs to be the people. Need to, need, we need to stop waiting for some guy in the cloud to come save us. We need to save ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it says in the Holy Book that, you know, God helps he who helps himself first. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, my Bible.com map guy would know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, like you, you, you have to find a purpose to get off your butt and a good, and a good way to do that is that, Hey, I, I want, I want to live as a man or woman of God. You know, I want to live with a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. You know what I'm and, saying? and, and, and that, because that's the, you gotta have, you got, you have to have some kind of belief in a creator. And that, and that requires no outer change at all. It's all an inner change. You know, it, it's, it's, it, right. it, the, the outside will soon reflect the mindset. Inside. Yes. It all starts in the inside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing it for the fake, you're doing it for the clout, it's not going to work out. Here's a here's a weird thing, you know, a weird way to, to, to figure out if you have that faith or not. And me, it, I think you have to go and live life. If you're not making mistakes, if you're not going out doing something stupid, now I'm not saying do something out, outlandishly wild. Right, don't waste your life. I'm saying if you, if you go and drink and you get drunk for one night, you know, let it happen. You know, shit happen. If you're, you're living late, if you're, you're, if you're legal say, age, so, uh huh? Yeah. If you're no, if you're middle aged and you're doing this, no, you no, need a question. Legal, legal, legal age. Oh, legal. they said middle age. No. But yeah, legal, legal age. Yes. Yeah, over twenty. Even if you're young. Even if, <laughs> like, look, some people do it, some people not. Nah, but you I, learn I from it. Shouldn't. You learn from it. Yeah. But what I'm saying from those guys who are living life, live it, enjoy it. Just don't do nothing too stupid and too wild because eventually yeah you're gonna figure out this is not the life I want to live well that's the bad thing about getting fucked up is you lose your inhibitions and you start you, you black out and shit or you can black out well that's what that's what hopefully if you do end up trying to go party dude and you go try to take all this take a Zan pop a perk and whatnot. You, you realize, yo, I don't like that shit. I didn't like how I was not controlling myself. I didn't like how I didn't remember what the fuck yeah. I was doing. I didn't like how I woke up naked. You know? That's existing because you're not in control. You're not living it. You're existing. Right? Yes. Well, well yeah. You're, you're, you're giving your power well, away. You're giving your power away to these drugs. Yeah. Into, into but you, that's how you gain it back. You you're right. not give it up again. I thought you were saying Once something else. Take, that's all like, well, but then you got to Once you take full control of it, what I'm saying is, is that, yes, go live life. Go make mistakes. Make small ones. What did Miss Frizzle? Remember Miss Frizzle? She used to say, you know, make mistakes, get messy, you know, you know, you know. and learn to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, that. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, you yeah, make a mess, but learn yeah. to clean it up too. You know, it's a balance. Everything is is a balance. You Ooh, well, if you're if you're always in your comfort Ooh. zone, you're not living. Like a good way to chess is actually a great way analogy mm. for this. You know, because Such think about this. Imagine, think about those super grandmasters, Magnus Carlsen, Carl Nakamura, and all these guys that are really popular and famous and play chess all their life, and now they play for money and they make a lot. For them, you think chess is fun really anymore? Mm -hmm. Not for a lot of them, I think. I think it's it, they're, they're, now they, they they have to fulfill contracts, they have to play a certain amount of hours, they have you know they have sponsors to, to please. They got streaming but, but, sites. But how we play, you know, the, the chess that the average Joe, not not famous. Might not be as quote unquote technically sound, might not be the moves, might not be textbook, but you know what? We have fun. Yeah, we have fun, fun and we learn from each other, you know, and that's at the end of the day, that's what chess is about. You know, it's, it's about learning and having fun, you know what I'm saying? It's not about yeah. like we, it's not like, oh, look, you know, 10 moves in, like, oh, it's going to be a draw. We're going to draw. Yeah, that's draw. part of, that's part of living too, is exercising your mind. Yeah. Like, uh, like using it for not just what you have to do, but like, yeah. 
Like that's, this is like a puzzle type yeah, thing. Learn, learn, learn to learn to want to know about the world around you and how it yeah. works. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Start there. What it what 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 is something that interests you that you want to know how it works or you wish you could? Hey, bro, it's 2022. The only thing is at the finger at the, YouTube, bro. Oh yeah, you can, all the you do know, it yourselves. Here's another example of what I meant by by that. What I was saying a minute ago is that if you go and get hurt, like your heart is broken. Good. At least you went and did it. You know how it feels, so that way you can either don't let it happen again or whatever. But or going out and like say you go for a hike and you, and you say you sprain your ankle because you went out on a hike. Well, you went out there to go to explore the world. There's a quote. There's always a. There's and then a you have a story. There's a quote. Mm-hmm. You get a story out of it. Yeah. yeah. And you can that and then you can laugh about it later and that that'll yeah. help you. It's kind of like a sacrifice you made to just reach this this pinnacle or this part. Right. There's a quote. Or where you're at. Yeah. Well, pain heals. Chicks dig scars. Glory lasts forever. Who said that? Uh, Shane Falco. Who's that? It was Keanu Reeves in that movie, that football movie he did. Which football? The Replacements? I forget. Replacements? I don't know. But no, the, the, the cheerleaders and stuff? It might have been The Replacements. That's How many football remember. movies did that fuck you do? This is the one football movie I have not seen. You see this right here? Dude, we gotta watch it. Taking time out to get together as homies and share ideas and put them out there. You know what I'm saying? Organizing. Well, I was gonna say creating something. This, yeah, this is this is living. You know, ha- what I'm having saying? a hobby or doing something besides yeah. just watching shit, just consuming. If you're just consuming, you're just existing. Exactly. But and if you're order, creating, if you're putting output, my best. Yes. No, and in order for you to finally have your own, like let's say nine to five, your own version of it, where well, it could be anything. Like living your own life, like just going out and just exploring the world and, and, and just seeing what's out there in on the horizon. Yeah. You gotta work. And right? you, oh yes. Every man has to work. work for yeah, for his for his bread. That's but you could says. also use what you love to make your to make your bread. Like to make your money. Right? Yeah. It, I mean we we like, yeah, it is possible. Yeah. It's not yeah. easy. If you're working a nine to five right now, keep working. So that way you can maintain the food on your table. Right. But put on a little extra time for something else that you like to do. Like you have work, to do that. From five, sure. nine like to five, maybe go do some jujitsu, or maybe go out yeah. and run the park. Maybe go do a run. Like, and see how that works. Like, I, like, like I've been telling Podcast, Chris, for, like, I've been telling chess. Chris for years, bro. Take time out to draw some merch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we, yeah. we could be making money. Drawing. You know, we could, be, we could be we could be sponsoring ourselves instead of having to you know hopefully wait for some sponsor to hear our shit and like it. Exactly. I, I have this like OCD, so I got a, my, this project where I have right now is where I'm at re-editing and re-uploading all the old episodes of the Friday I, Podcast. I, I asked you to, to I asked you to draw a brain and a heart like two years ago. Yeah, and I got I got a starting part of it. It's very cartoonish looking. But See, we, 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 we need a faster uh, pr- input, output time than two years if we're going to get merch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We need at least four We can't put that on merch. What? Is that... That. No, but that wouldn't be merch. But I'm saying, okay. you know, but I, I, you know, there's ideas for merch. All you, you got to do is find something cool you, that we find cool. You try it. We put on a t-shirt. So, you know, put, put on... That's how you want to present it. Well, yeah, but you're right. Like, you can, um, you can turn what make it, it's a it's almost a it's a very free time that we live in that you can make money off what you love and a lot of people because they haven't lived actual life they took on these jobs now like especially in my age group probably a lot of them are figuring out that the four years you spend in, in college thinking of it like this is what i want to do for the rest of my life well, because you didn't go out and maybe explore for a little bit before you committed to this you're not figuring out i fucking hate my job and i hate doing mm, this yeah and it's okay to admit that now. It's okay. I mean, I, I've admitted. It. I've had to admit it. I don't like what I do, but I'm not taking the steps towards you. Know, I the, love I what I do. I mean, but you, but but you, it's not horrible. No, it's There's not horrible. way worse jobs. I'm making money. I'm learning now to love it, to do what I hate, to appreciate it for what it is. Right? Yeah, like learn it. to love what I hate. <laughs> what? Do it. Nah, that sounds nah, like nah, abusive nah, nah, shit right nah, there. Nah, that's not how it works. It's not. It's, it's I not a, love what I not about, It's not about getting what you want. It's wanting what you get. Remember that. No, it's about doing. It's another. It's a discipline. It's that's good too. It's a discipline too. Mike. Mm-hmm. Mike had said it. In, in okay, Mike. we're gonna take advice from Mike Nestovich. No, Mike Tyson. Oh, okay, that guy. Okay, okay. You need to specify, right. fucker. No, yeah, you, you can't know, say Mike. Tyson. Mike. We know, like, Mike four Jordan. Mikes. Huh? Michael Jordan. Yeah, we know like four Mike. Mike Tyson. Oh. But it was like doing what you hate, but doing doing it like you love it. So that when you when you do what you love, you you do it exponentially. I don't know about that. That's okay. heavy. Doing what you hate, but doing like you love it. That's this. Well, for some people, that's, that is discipline. For some people, that's just that daily routine. You know, it's hey, learn to find the the you know. the joys in what you hate, 
So that way, when you're doing you, what you love, and hopefully, just, and hopefully you learn it. not to hate it. Yeah, you gotta find the joy in everything. Like that's why you gotta like. It's, I don't. I feel like I feel like I feel like that's kind of the equivalent of saying, well, sometimes you gotta eat shit. I mean, I like it, but you know, it's kind of you know what I'm saying. But eventually, you're gonna. I'm gonna eventually find you know work my way towards. I have a job where I sustain my stuff. I can do the podcast more. Right. And, you know, that's the future I see for myself. However, I get there. That's the end. But also, don't forget. Actually, the one who has to find time is him. He's the reason we can't do the podcast during the week. But the, okay, but the yeah, because my job is. Nine but, five. I, but, but I get paid decent right now, so I mean, and, and and I find it fulfilling, and it's hard, but I have like sick days and shit that I use. So you love what you do. Yeah, I have a love for it. See, existing. even though even though there's days where I'm like, oh, I would kind of hate it, but there's days where I'm like, oh, I appreciate it. See, existing to me would be like we you would continue to do the same cycle that you hate and continue to bitch about it like you hate it. Go to the bars and bitch about it there. Right. And yeah, I don't try to be. You, I don't bitch you, about it. Then you live life, what you think is life, and then you die. Like you just that's it. Yeah. That's how you live it. Well, the way with the way that once you do, like you smoke cigarettes and then you get yeah, like old, that, and you, you watch TV, and you drink beer, watch and you just TV. existing. Hey, yeah. hey, I know another eat way. TV dinners. Don't eat. Don't eat at the table. Just yeah, watch the TV. Want. Just be that blue light radiation just in your brain all the time. And, and there's yeah. a lot of people that live like that. You know, another way of putting it is, you know, where, where you. Were you got? Were you high or were you, you stoned? You know what I'm saying? I gotta listen to the thing again. You do. It's so deep, bro. It's the deepest thing. I'm talking about this skit off of the new Weekend album. Yes, I said the Weekend. What's the album called? Dawn FM. Dawn yeah. FM. This, this, the, 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 the interlude I'm talking about is, uh, is called uh, Phantom, Phantom Regret. And it's deep, the deepest shit you heard in so a while. So deep, I didn't understand it the first time, so maybe I yeah, understand. Yeah, I, I had to go back at least four times. Me and me and my friend Kevin tripped on it for like an hour. We're like, bro, this, this, is, this is some really but deep shit. But were you high or were you stoned? No, we were at work. I don't, oh. get, I don't get high before I go to work. <laughs> I feel you. Know? Yeah, that's a good question. So, uh, yeah, you know, Living Brothers Existing, how many, what's the clock on it so far? Have you, have you done enough chat on it? 21 minutes. Hell yeah, we talked a lot on that shit, bro. Let's go. Keep going on it. All right, go ahead, Romo. Make it that Let's 30 go. at least. Let's go, Tell Romo. Hit that hoe, Romo. I mean, but another way you could also look at living life is, is also enjoying the journey through it. That's what I was gonna say. Thank you for saying yes. that because because you talk about the goal and the end thing, but you gotta appreciate. What, then you find at the end that it was the journey all along. Yeah, yeah. That was the joy. Yeah, it was the journey. there you go. It's and you were excited just to get that out, bro. Well, yeah. because you reminded me, and I, I was forgot, and I, I, I was gonna say, it, and then I thought, and then. So you know, thank thank but, thank Kevin. We didn't end the podcast. Yeah, you had something to say. But yeah, it's it's enjoying the journey to get there. Like, like I said, the the end goal can always be whatever you want it to be. Like, if you want it to live, stop doing that. Yeah, hey, what are you doing? I don't know. He's just playing a pipe every time I talk. It's annoying. Uh, people can't see it. That's what he's doing. But, but it's a weird pipe sound. No, because no, because it makes me lose my train of thought. Uh, but damn it. See, he, see, look, so, he shouldn't have said nothing. I was just in my own little zone. But you were distracting me, fool. Yeah, that's, that's unprofessional. You gotta be able to, like, be quiet and not know. Nah, I'm good. I didn't say the word. <laughs> well, you were singing, though. You're like, good at Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Back. I liked it. It was nice. Yeah, but, it, but I guess he gets distracted. I can't, I can't remember. Get the fuck out of here. I just talked to him for like two minutes. <laughs> I can't. I can't Get the fuck out of here. Wait, wait, all right. But look, the journey, you think it's a struggle, but you, that's why you got to find the, there's, there's, there's like. I, I, I had struggle. it. I lost it. It's gone. Uh, I can't. So existing. Living existing. I think living also is having your own opinion. Because so those people who just like. Pair it Every back, pair it back what they hear, pair it back what they read. You know, yeah. they, they 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 just take what they're told. Don't even research. They they're, just they just take it at face value. You know what I'm they saying? They become mirrors or clones. Yeah, too. And, and that's what they want you to do. You and know what I'm saying? They, they, remember, this education system is not about learning nothing. It's about learning how to regurgitate information. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. all. It's about. And it's not designed for everybody. It's like one specific way. That's why a lot of people struggle in it. Yeah, there's that, that meme. You know, them. there's there's that meme that says our education system is the equivalent of of taking an elephant, a giraffe, and a monkey and saying. We're gonna grade you guys based on how well you can climb a tree. Mm. Hey man, nice. I think there's a fish in there too. Yeah, but you get it. You get yeah, it, you yeah. But I think that's how the thing same little cartoon. Yeah, yeah it, it, it is. It's crazy. That's why. I mean that. That's why they're like. Uh, like I think everybody's a little bit OCD and ADHD now, and and, and uh, what's the, what's the other one? 
dyslexic? Well, I don't feel like I'm dyslexic. I think that's becoming maybe common. Do you feel dyslexic? Man, you know, that's just kind of judgy the way you said it, you know? Well, I mean, I'm lucky. Sometimes I read words differently, you know what I'm saying? Like, at work, sometimes I'll confuse the truck numbers, the truck names, because I thought I saw one letter, and I was like, oh, that's because it said that. Mm. Well, but, you know what I do is weird. It's like, sometimes I go imagine a word or something, like, when I'm scrolling, and I'll actually read it, and I'm like, oh, that's not even that word. That's dyslexia, son. No, I'm just, I'm just creating a... Like, I'm not really reading it. Like, I see the picture, and I'm like, oh, look. I mean, all right. I mean, denial. <laughs> it might be. Denial. You're right. You're right. Denial, <laughs> uh, what's the other one? A little bit of autism. Uh, sometimes I just say shit. You know? But I think I think that's becoming, like... That like, might be that, that other one. The, what's it called? Where you Asperger's. Call <laughs> yeah. Asperger's. Tourette's. But, that one. No, Tourette. Oh, you know what? Oh, I was no, trying... don't even. Don't even. No, don't but even. for two weeks, I've been trying to think of that word. Oh, okay. I thought he was about to say, I know Tourette. this kid. And then, oh, like, I don't, we don't need to hear about sad nah. kids. <laughs> we don't need to hear yeah, about sad kids. No. See, living when is existing, guys. Nah, like... Yeah. Also, uh, it's great. Being humble. You got to live. You got to be humble to live. You got to right? be humble Maybe. to live. You have to learn to be able to be humble to live. Yeah, bro. To live nice, to live peacefully. In a way. To live I mean, healthy. To at least not live with your head up your ass. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to take criticism and accept, you know, hey, I fucked up or hey, you know that. When, that... when people are walking around mad all the time, they're just existing. Because they're not living in the moment. They're not thinking at the positive. Yeah. I think being positive is living. Jeez. Mm. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Was that 10 minutes? It was five, Is that six five minutes. Ever start coming back no, around? Here, Are you giving up on it? Yeah. You want to end the podcast? Sure. <laughs> you sure? You want to yeah. end that episode there? That was one zero four. <laughs> yeah. 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 Eighteen Peace. subscribers. Love y'all. Peace. I, I thought you said we lost like four. No, no, no. No, stop on the Friday podcast. Stop this now. I lost one. Stop this now. <laughs>